Hey guys, welcome to Never Alone Homestead. Well guys, I have ordered some trees and I got them from TriStar Plants. Got the referral from Danny and Wanda at Deep South Homestead. I love their channel. And so I had some uh, fruit trees that kind of got broke and a couple of them died, about four or five of them uh, got broke somehow mysteriously at the other homestead. We're at a time that you want to be sure that you're, you know, prepared and preserving and have something that's growing all the time. So here on the southeast coast of North Carolina, I'm going to give these plants a try. So I'm going to open it up because I've actually forgot what I have ordered. And it's going to be going to my, um, my uh, tree forest, if you want to say it like that. I'm planting a whole bunch of fruit trees and... So I'm just, you know, trying to get these things going. Even though in my lifetime span, they might not be producing like I would want them to produce or be seeing them to produce, but in the generations to come, then they can benefit from these trees. So let's give it an open and see what I got going on in here. Well, Tri-Star Plants. And they just came in, so I was glad that I was here. And make sure I'm opening it the right way. Pull that one, showed it. Yep, I'm opening the right way. I showed it the, which way to open it. Wow, I see greenery. That's awesome. is blowing out here so I'm trying to get out of the wind. My granddaughter will love this, loves popping these. It's really down in there. Got some greenery going on here. I'm going to gently try to get it out. It's got water. You hear, you hear a tractor. It's farming season here. The tractors are rolling around here. Wow, let's see if I can get this out. It'll be easy with it. Okay, let's see what I got going on. Looks like a big tree, and one of the trees, big trees that Got really broken. Don't know how it happened. Just planted them. And uh, the fig tree really got damaged. So that put me in regards of buying another fig tree. Um, cause I'm not, actually, as much as I paid for I'm not sure if it's going to live. i uh, see what this is. this is. This is the fig tree. Oh, yeah. So this is the brown turkey. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think I'm, you know, I don't know sure if I'm going to plant this in the ground right now. You know, we're into April, into April just about. Or if I'm going to just put it in a big pot and baby it. Because here on the East Coast, it really gets hot. So, nice foliage. That's great. Then to the um, little planters here. This is a white mulberry. Yes. I uh, wanted a mulberry. And, uh. Been thinking about it for a while. They grow to be big trees, put out a lot of berries, you know, a lot of fruit, and you make jam with it. And so I'm really looking forward to that. Wow, yes. Now, whoops, try not to get the wind up. Damn, it's my trees here. Whoops. So that's the end of that box. Let me see what I got going on in this box. So far, I'm excited. I'm really excited, especially the brown fig and the mulberry. I'm already, I'm, yeah. When it comes to plants, uh, it just makes me happy. Especially something other that you could benefit from. Uh, and, and, you know, it just, and watch it grow. I just, I just love it. I really got this one taped up. I'm going to cut myself here. My, Knife needs to be sharpened, so I use it a lot. 
and I don't keep my knife too sharp, too sharp, sharp, because I end up cutting myself, so it's really have it a little bit dull. It's not too dull, but, you know, yeah. Oh, it says, thank you, dormant plants inside will flush, let's see, flush in spring, and then you can go to tristarplant.com. Put that down there. More. Let's see if I can get this out. So this could be your food forest. I used to plant all. Whoops! I just dropped one of my plants. I used to draw, uh, plant all kinds of flowers and stuff, but you know, I'm I'm just changed and so I was taking care of something else that just looks pretty for a short period of time. I like planting things that I know that come back year to year. I think I really got it wrapped up. Year to year and you know, with the regards of benefiting from them. So, wow, Let's see if I can untangle this here. I like all the greenery and I like that they're in I like that they're into these containers you know they need to be watered uh, this is a south southern crab apple one of the trees one of my trees was a crab apple um, so this is we live in the south and it's a southern crab apple so wow I'm looking forward to that gosh can't wait but I think I am gonna plant these in the ground Let's see what else I got going on here. I remember ordering something like this. Maybe it's, let me see. Hmm. Oh, it, it, it is moist, so that's good. I'm trying to figure out what this is. This one needs water. Let's see, I got a elderberry, southern crab apple, brown turkey, and a white mulberry. So, this will be my, my elderberries. Wow, and, and this is what I've been looking forward to. Let's see, I think this is my, yeah, southern, I got a southern crab apple, and this one, I got two southern crab apples. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I did that. So, yeah, because I'm planting apple trees, I want some good pollination and uh already got apple trees planted and so this this is why i want to get a um southern crab apple and of course the white mulberry so these are and a fig brown fig and this would be my mulberries so yeah i'm excited about that because you make you know mulberry jam and uh yeah the white mulberry one gallon they're in one gallon containers Brown fig, one gallon containers. Southern crab apple, which I got two of them in one gallon containers. And then you got the elderberries. And of course these are in just like, you know, four by four pots. So thanks guys for watching. Get the planting, plant you some fruit trees so that you have uh, a food forest that is long-term, not just for you, but for your family and generations to come. Okay, guys, love you so much, and see you on to the next video. And remember, guys, make it a great day, and God bless you.